Oh god! Oh my god, that just reminds me of that one time when I lived in the dorms and uh, I free fell like two floors in the elevator. That was terrifying. Oh. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. Barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination. Oh boy. I'm getting some earthbound in game feels from this. It's not on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you can read. Power room. Entry number six. Asgor asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn to dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Entry number nine. Things are going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Oh, but I didn't get that one key, though. From the, uh... The ladies outside MTT. Train dropped it. That's all you could read. Some kind of switch. There's a red colored slot in the center. Spoopy! cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun! You know, I just got done watching Ghost Adventures earlier.
So that was odd. Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. <clears throat> you are prepared for the spoopy. Yes, the spoopy. I need to rewatch uh, the episode though, because I didn't quite catch all, like, everything that happened, but at one point they're sitting there in the, uh, the dark and they had, like, a, a music box or something going. The creepiest thing though was, uh, Zach coming across the uh, blackboard and it said something along the lines of, uh, Zach will die or something like that, and it's, it's just like, what the fuck? I don't know. It was kind of funny, though, his reaction. But that would be rather terrifying. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Oh, God. Is that a bed pain? Dog food bowl. Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie on it? Yes. Okay. Everyone that has fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Uh, am I even injured? Oh yeah, I don't- I'm-, I'm well, I already talked to the same point though. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then... How about something that's neither human nor mo- Oh... This is gonna be about Flowey, isn't it? Is that? The fuck is that? Is that a golf club with a dick? I joke, but oh, oh! Thanks, random person that just came out of the ground. I'm a little creeped out, but okay. Also, apologies for the dick joke. <laughs> that was actually a rather pleasant surprise. I don't know who you are, but you're awesome. Okie dokie. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go.
have no idea what just happened. God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! on the ground. You can't make it all out. Cold. It's a big dream. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to check all of them. Toby Fox did an excellent job on this. Yeah, well, okay. All right, well, I don't have the key to get in there. So I guess go back. Oh, he is, definitely. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it? I sent the souls in the vessel back to Asgore. And I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Entry number 16. No, 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 no! Is that necessary? Um, sure?
This is the part where I kill you. This is the part where he kills us. DC extraction machine status inactive. Right, um... Also, welcome to the channel. <laughs> Uh, shockingly, I didn't die as many times as I thought I would. Alright. Uh, that was a green key that we got, so I don't remember where the... I'm gonna backtrack just a little bit. I should have unlocked the part where he kills you. Yes. Oh, okay, so it was that way. At some point, I'm actually going to stream Portal 1 here. But right now, I'm going to finish Undertale, or at least try to. There was. I was just uh, backtracking to see where the green uh, slot was. Is that it? It looks yellow. Yep, that's yellow. Okay, what's this? You can't make it all out. Under. Sheets. That's all you can read. It's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Do you watch one? Sure. Psst, Gory, wake up! Hmm? What is it, dear? Uh, and why did you have that? Why do you have the video camera? Shush! I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest. What is my favorite vegetable? Hmm. Carrots, right? No, no, no! My favorite vegetable is. Edda, mommy. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. <laughs> no, no, not yet! <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be... A Mamaranian. Ho ho ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this... One day, you could be... A famous Mamiri. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on. Come on, Tori. That one was, was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh, dear. Perhaps it's too dark in here for the video to come out. Learned about Dino Hitler, huh? Um. Yes. I, I don't know. What? Okay, Holtz, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait! I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me! What? What's going on? Howdy, Holtz! Smile for the camera! Ha! This time I got you! I left the cap on. On purpose! Now you're smiling for no reason! What? Oh, yeah, I remember. We tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. We accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. I should have left it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Uh, okay. Uh. I. I don't like this idea, Holtz. Well, what? No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. 
Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Holtz. Never. Y yeah. We'll be strong. We'll be we'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Holtz, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Holtz, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Holtz, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... I... No, I said... I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? What the fuck? Picture number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Okay, I'm really creeped out right now. And yeah, you're right, the that thing does look like parts of Oh Oh I think I see where this is going. Alright. Guess I can't go in there right now. That's where I got the key. I'm seriously, honestly creeped out right now. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Well, you look friendly! These ghosts aren't what's bothering me. Well, that's different. Oh, yeah, they do. Also, I really need to stop looking at chat when I'm <laughs> in the middle of dodging things. Throw your weapon in the corner of the room. Amalgamate brings it back to you proudly? Repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leads, it's dripping amorphous body on you. If this were Shadowgate, I would be dead right now.
stage one happiness froth? Oh, this is gonna get ugly. Uh. You pet decisively. <laughs> How Malgamit seems to be satisfied by all of this. Dodge is contented. Oh, that was odd. And also, the gaps between every one of his legs turned into dogs. <laughs> Uh, that was kind of adorable. In a creepy sort of way. Burp. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I ended up turning uh, links off because I started getting a bunch of spam bots. They're not even good ones either. They look like they just mashed their face into the keyboard and then like a random blank popped out. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator it seems to contain samples of some kind. Entry number 20. Esper left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Wait. Nothing's moving. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Entry number 21. I spent all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Okay. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. Well, alrighty then. Was that? Oh god. What? <laughs> this place. Where the hell is this? Something. <laughs> yeah, this is my first run. I already defeated uh, <clears throat> Flowey earlier, so. Oh, I have to go back and get that key, don't I?
I have to go back to uh, MTT and get that key, don't I? But how can I even get out of here now? I can't even get out of here. Oh, it's not for this. Okay. I was thinking for some reason it was. And I think I've already exhausted this direction. Yeah, we already met the snowdrakes, so holy crap. Well, if I can still go back and do it at some point, though, I'm gonna do it. Unless it requires the game reset, which I'd uh, rather not have to go that route. See what I mean? It looks like they face roll it. It's not even creative anymore. It's just gibberish. But I give that one points for adding a percentage sign. Suddenly the bot comes back saying that you insulted its mother or something. What the? This must be turned off. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yes. Oh, hi, ghosties. Hey, stop. I got you guys some food, okay? Uh, sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. It seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just some a big inconvenience for you. B but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might... not come back. But that's not because these guys are anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something... Cowardly. Uh, I... I suppose I owe you an explanation. 
As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see... Unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take the concentration of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lose what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into... THOSE. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much ev everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to know, do any more work knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Besides, uh... What? number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder... What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Oh, God. Entry number 18. The flower's gone. It's a voice you have never heard before. Holtz, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Holtz, see you soon. Oh, hell. <laughs> Doors gem shut with vines. trying to say, but yeah, I probably don't want to fill the chat with jokes like that. Besides, it wouldn't be Hitler anyway, it'd be... what the fuck is his name? Uh, Mingal or something. But even then, I mean, just... I, I would rather we kind of steer away from that area. Golden flower. I see that it's a golden flower. There's some white for a stuck in the drain. There's a note here. Howdy. Help yourself to anything you want. Notes. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. So are the snails dead? Are they alive? What are they? It's a golden flower. Despite everything, it's still you. Yay, it's still me! It's still me, and I am here. I'm going down the basement. Sweet. 
really creepy area. Let's go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, 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 go. So, um... This is a longer walk than I remember. Or maybe it's just because I know what I'm heading towards. I don't know. Actually, I want to go down here really quick. I want to see if anything changed down here. Yeah, it's definitely the silence. It's weird you can't check the other ones, though, or at least I don't see how you can. On the other hand, that's also really kind of creepy that those are all down there. chance you have any unfinished business. Wait, what? I have to do this again? Okay. Strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Miserable creature torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone. But I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with the horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized, I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. It's not, not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time. Go, Mom! So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, Dreamer. Pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But, do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Nah! Asgore! Human! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends! Else I'll... I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Uh, nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? 
Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Uh, hey! Nobody hurt each other! Oh, are you another friend? I am Torio. Hello! Uh, uh, hi! There's two of them. <laughs> hey! Nobody fight anyone! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Kundine for help. Hello! Oh! Hello, your majesty! Psst, hey, human. Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? Hey guys, what's up? That voice! Hello, I think we may know each other? Oh hey, I recognize your voice too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. Name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. So nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! <laughs> this is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm. Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. The skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Y yeah, Asgore. Dini is totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes you just gotta, uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, and just get to know a really cute fish? Oh! <laughs> it's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god! Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Alright, Alphys? Uh... Elphus? No. He's right. Let's do it! What? Well, uh, I, I guess, if you want to? Don't hold anything back. Well, wait! Not in front of the human. Uh, right, sorry. Got a little carried away there. My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. Well, looking at all the great friends you've made, I think... I think you will be happy here. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know to call everybody? Well, let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower?